Oh my God. Look at the size of it. Let's try and get into the cabin in one piece. What's going on guys? Adam here, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. For anyone new around here, I'm a part-time eBay reseller. I buy stuff normally from charity shops, car boots, and I sell them on eBay and Depop. However, today we've got something a little bit different. We have got a vintage wholesale order from Boom Wholesale. So this is the first time I've ever ordered from a vintage wholesaler before. Um, there's a few reasons behind this. Um, one, I don't have time at the moment to hit car boots. I've just recently had a new, new little child and a little baby girl. So I'm just taking a few, you know, it's hard to get them all into back in the moment from the weekend. So that's number one. And number two, the prices of my local charity shops are like gone through the roof at the moment. So like, I can still snag a few bits and pieces. It's more difficult. So I need to find an, hopefully an easier source um, that I can, that I can source from. And hopefully, boom, wholesale, maybe, maybe one of those. Obviously, there's a vast array of wholesalers out there. This was slightly inspired, well, I say was slightly, was inspired um, by Jonathan at House of Vintage. So I'll leave his little pop up here or link in the, obviously in the description below. Um, this whole bundle cost me 75 pounds. So this is dirt cheap. It's super, super cheap compared to some of the other bundles you could buy. It's called the eBay Mix Bundle. I believe it's currently out of stock. Um, however, I did pre-order it. I had to wait about a couple of weeks, 10, 10 days, 14 days for it to arrive. Um, so yeah, 75 pound plus delivery. So um, yeah, and it's a huge box, right? So what I wanted to do is show it from a perspective of someone who isn't a clothing expert. I don't, I don't specialize in clothes. Yes, I resell clothes. Um, so I know some of the popular brands. However, I'm not an expert. And also I don't have a relationship with them. I think Jonathan was, is a very honest guy and he's, he does, you know, obviously disclaim that he, has a relationship with Boom Wholesale. He's ordered from them before. They actually knew Jonathan as well was ordering this was ordering this type of bundle. So did they cherry pick for him or not? I don't think they did, but it'd just be interesting to see kind of what I get. And so far the feedback that I've had is positive from these guys. Um, I've also, also ordered another one from BK Covered, which hasn't got as good of a response. However, I'd, I'm happy to try things out and just show you kind of what I, my, my personal experience, right? So yeah. Um, super, super excited to open this up. Um, I'm gonna open up now. We'll go. For, I'm gonna quickly go through each item one by one as quick as we can. There's about 30 to 35 items. Actually, before we get into that, it's really important that we read the description of exactly what we bought. I think a lot of people just read the headline and then maybe maybe a bit disappointed when everything comes out. So this, hopefully you can see my screen, is the eBay mix bag, 75 pound. I think I actually paid 80 pound. They actually dropped it a little bit in price. So eBay mix sacks are perfect for online marketplaces such as eBay, Vintage, Spock, etc. All items are branded, okay? So there shouldn't be anything unbranded. One sack will, will typically include 30 to 35 pieces. Um, up to 10% will be children's clothing, so we need to take that into consideration. Sizes will vary from extra small to double XL. Now this is the interesting part. On average, 75 bag, a 75 pound bag makes 350 to 550 pound return. That is the feedback from the clients, from their customers apparently. And if that's true, that's extremely, extremely good. Extremely good. So I'm gonna put that to the test. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna to open it up, go for each item one by one um, for someone who doesn't have the experience in this field. Um, yeah, and we're gonna see, so all these items, so what you see in the picture is not what you're gonna receive, obviously. Um, they're all second hand and we'll show signs of wear. Um, there's no grading to this, so I'm not expecting high quality, super fresh clothes. I'm expecting things with marks, holes, damage potentially. Um, so yeah, just be really mindful about what you're ordering, know what you're ordering. And so there will be no surprises, right? I know there's gonna be some damage items in here. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna rip it open now. We'll speed through one by one, and then I'll maybe sort of pile what I'm gonna sell and what I'm gonna keep. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna speed through it as quick as possible because there's a lot of items here. Um, I'm gonna make two piles, one I'm gonna keep, that's gonna be resold. Two is one that I don't have the time or can't be bothered with, which I'm gonna donate back to Cherry. So starting off, no particular order. By the way, it's a heavy box, so there's 
you know, different coats, jeans, tops, t-shirts, loads of different stuff in here. Uh, pink, what's this, just like a pink here. Yeah. Uh, women's or children's, yeah, children's Adidas uh, jumper, some small marks in it, some bobbled, etc. That's gonna go in the death pile. Um, really, really nice. We have a lovely Timberland hit. This is a Timberland coat. What size is it? Extra large men's black, a little bit faded. Can't find any. This is a, this is nice. Can't find any damage on it. This one looks good at the moment, just needs a bit of a clean. Yeah, really nice Timberland coat. Nice Timberland hit on there as well. That's a keeper, unbelievable. What a great sock that is. Straight away into the Timberland coat, unbelievable. Another coat here as well. This is what this coat is. Another coat, yeah. Wow, another strong brand, North Face. Again, just black, another like black bomber jacket coat. Um, is, that a, is that a rip or is that? No, it's just a pocket, okay, that's cool. Again, looks, um, I can't see no holes, no obvious marks. It just needs a bit of a clean, a little bit faded. Um, really nice, right? What a great sock that is. Unbelievable. Getting us in the key pile. Okay, what we've got here? Henley. Wow. Henley Henson. Just like a ski jacket, not too sure. This looks to be a child size, maybe. Um, it looks to either be a small ladies or a child size. Either way, I'm going to keep that. Again, good, clean condition. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Uh, keeping that one. Nice. A bit of damage here straight away. Well, I can see red skins. Wow, oh, do you know what? That is such a shame. How nice is that? Red skins, this one is very, very damaged though. Very heavily worn NFL jacket. Um, oh, do you know what? I just love NFL, but marks down. You know, you can, this is what you expect to get damaged there. But you know what? I've already hit massively on, on the Timberland coat, the North Face coat. I'm gonna, I would love to resell this. This is right up my avenue. It's just, it's just heavily, heavily worn. Let's see what we can do with it. Better keep that in the key part. Next up, we have an Umbro Large Boys. Really, really nice vintage Umbro jacket. That is really nice. Lovely hit down the sleeve. Navy, kind of red. Um, yeah, really nice. Obviously, this is this is vintage, probably 90s. I think this is Large Boys, but you know what? This might even go as a small men's. That's really nice, keeping that one. I can imagine something like that will hit really nicely on, on Depop. Uh, so we have a plain white feeler jacket marked down the front. I don't think I can, um, probably for me, not strong, it's a small size as well. That's gonna go in, in when I say the death pile, it means it's gonna get recycled, right? I try not to throw anything away, but there's some things that you need to know which is gonna be worth my time and which isn't. So maybe I'll just chuck them on 99 bids, 99p bids, see what happens. Another North Face jacket. Again, got some marks on it. Um, back looks nice, nice colorway. This is either again a, this might be, this is a small person. So I'm guessing that's for a, la yes, yeah, lady. Again, a couple of marks, but I think they'll come out. Nice. God, there's a lot of stuff in here, guys. Sorry, it's gonna take a while to get through. I do apologize, we're gonna do it in one hit. We have a Polo Raffler on. That's nice as well. <laughs> I'm surprised, guys. Large. Little bit shrunken, but potentially that's nice. So keeping that just needs a clean. Um, DK and Y jeans, really nice, like kind of beige jacket. Do you know what? I'm not too sure. Don't like the belt personally. That's just me. This might be. Is this? A, it must. Be, it's a size small. I'm guessing that's a women's jacket, right? DK and Y jeans, nice. Oh, there's so much stuff in here. I did not imagine there'd be so much. We have, oh, just recently some of these, Columbia uh, on the heat jacket. Columbia is always a great brand to look out for. Uh, really nice kind of like extra long, not extra long, but like a, a full length jack, jacket coat, silver. This looks in good clean condition as well. Um, on the heat, yes. Yeah, so I, I saw one of these recently in a men's double XL for like 35 pounds. So this whole box, each item owes me about two pound 50 each. I am so, so, so surprised and pleasantly surprised. This is such an awesome bundle so far. And I'm literally just like, I haven't even started yet. Unbelievable, That's, I don't think I've even got to clean that. That's straight in the uh, key pile. Next up we have, oh my goodness. Lovely again, Adidas hit, uh, like jacket, blazer, 
bit of cleaning, but I can't see any obvious holes, marks. Um, really nice pattern to the front of it. Probably, I'm not too sure on the tag. What's that, early 2000s maybe? No idea, really nice though, just needs a bit of a clean. You know, I could sell that really nice cheap on Depop. eBay, get them in, get them out. This is a standard women's Adidas kind of zip. Kind of faded logo on the back. Again, just put that maybe on really cheap, get it, get it in, get it gone. We have a Polo Ralph Lauren pink jean, uh, like chinos. Obviously again, this is what you need to expect. We've got some uh, some fading, some marking here. Mm, we'll chuck it in the wash, see how it comes out of this. This is quite, again, there's some marks there. But really nice polo hit there. It's really nice, some really nice chinos. Just where we, how, how well we can do in the, in the cleaning. But again, that's gonna go in the wash and see how it comes out. Another, oh my God, how nice is this? Black Nike coat jacket, track jacket. Really nice, thick. Um, Extra large. This is an extra large boys, but you know what? This might even be a small men's if I'm being honest. That is lovely, that is. Really, really nice. Unbelievable, again, nice clean condition. Um, yeah, nice. A lot of it's going in the key pass at the moment. So we've got a, what's this? This looks to be, yeah, a Levi's 514s, uh, 38, 38 regular. Um, a couple marks down the front, should come out in the wash. I'm not sure if this is, is it legit? Yeah, it looks legit, that's fine. Yeah, looks fine, so these are wash. So that's 20, about 20 quid, something like that for those. Uh, we have a Reebok black fleece. Again, looks relatively, it looks, looks in good condition, there's no marks, holes. I was expecting more damage, if I'm being honest. I really was. Um, yeah, all right, that'll go in the wash, obviously, Reebok. For me, not the strongest of brands, but it is what it is. Dolce & Gabbana jeans. Guys, £2.50 each. Dolce & Gabbana jeans. Couple marks in it, I'm joking. See, that's the design. <laughs> Couple of holes in it. I'm sure they're by design. Unbelievable, really nice. Very good clean, clean condition as well. Dolce & Gabbana. I'm not sure if they're men's or not. Wow, I'm so pleased. Levi's, this is a kids, children's Levi's stuff. I might donate that one. <laughs> might donate that one. We have another kind of, I, I say this, mm, be interested to count out, the, count out the children's sizes after this. Oh no, this is uh, 32 to 34. No idea, there's a couple stains on that one. This is, this is quite worn, this Adidas jacket. Um, again, you can see some marks on the front. I don't know whether I'm going to bother with that again in the death pile. Um, next up, we have a Michael Kors. This is really nice. Just again, like just a slightly padded black jacket. Really small pull there. Really small. A really small tear, as you can see. Um, but yeah, no, that's nice. Just nice, plain, size large. Yeah, happy. Next up we have, I believe another, this must be a large boys again, but it's in good condition. Is it large boys? Looks to be, it looks to be a kid size to me. But again, just a, a black hit. That's it's quite nice, good condition though. We'll keep that one. Gonna get that nice and cheap. Okay, next up, next up, next up. We have a Moschino. This is where I don't know, I've not heard of the brand personally before. I'm sure people shouting at the screen now going X, Y, Z, I have no idea. As I say, I'm not a clothing expert, but a lot of the brands obviously I know about. This is just a Velcro Moschino jeans. Hmm, don't know, looks in good clean condition though. Again, just needs a bit of a clean, bit of an iron. Um, you know, some of the, the brand is slightly broken off, but I'm sure that'd be fine. Lovely. Levi's, uh, Levi's hoodie. This one is quite heavily faded, um, quite stretched out. Um, not gonna bother that one, that'll go to the death pile. Again, I'm just trying to be as quick and efficient here as possible. There might be a few bits which I'll move around again. It, lovely, grey Timberland hooded uh, hoodie. Yeah, really nice, really nice kind of like embroidery on the front. Nice, clean condition. Very, very small marks on it. 
This is a size large men's. Again, that will, that will do well. We've got another uh, just plain, 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 plain Nike uh, top, like tracksuit top. Some marks on this. Um, not too sure if we are going to bother with this one or not. We're going to put it that part from the beginning. We'll see how we end up. I need to work out kind of what's worth my time photograph listing, right? So there's money there. I just, it's not enough money for me to bother with the listing, right? So uh, yeah. Next up, we've got another Burgess jacket. Guys, I'm so pleased with this haul. So, so pleased. Lovely black. Uh, this is a size medium. Again, looks in good condition, no marks. Everything that's really, like, I really like, thankfully, are the ones that are in really good condition. Nice. We're getting it now. I can start, I can see the bottom of the box. Oh, lovely, we've got a nice NBA. The hooded, another, another hoodie, uh, like dark navy. Lovely kind of big print at the back. Let's see what brand it is. Is it the official kind of merchandise brand? Oh, lovely, Nike, NBA. Again, something like this will just sell so well on Depop and eBay. You know, that's really, really nice. Again, couple marks, I think they're just, you know, literally stuff you chuck in the wash, right? Nothing, some of them are, are not probably salvageable, but uh, this is nice. Whew. Unbelievable. Guys, this, this box just keeps delivering. We have now a Gantt uh, Manhattan double jacket. Wow. You know, this is, what's this? Like a really dark khaki. I can't see any kind of any brands on, out, on, kind of on the outside, but it is a Gantt jacket. And it's in good condition as well. I need to do some more research on that. That is obviously a massive keeper. Unbelievable. Nice little hit on the back neck. This is unbelievable. Another Burgess. Uh, what's that? Quarter zip. So it's men's, men's medium. Slightly shrunk. That's more of a small, good condition. Easy 15 quid. Um, right, try and fly, fly through it. Champion. Champion hoodie, just a really plain, like it's got a hole in, hold it there. You can see a logo there, but you do have a hole. Not gonna bother with that one that's gonna go in a death pile. So we're trying to do a one hit wonder. Hopefully it's working out all right. We have, this is really nice actually. Another Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, like this is almost like a denim shirt. Um, here we go, let's see if I can get it up for you guys. Like a nice blue like denim shirt with like a quite a nice collar on it as well. I've not seen kind of that type of collar before. Um, some more research needed. It's kind of a little, little stain under the arm. Apart from that, I can't see any other obvious marks, etc. Getting in a wash. Wow, unbelievable this is. We have a... <laughs> now, this is a shame. We have Polo Golf, Marina Wall, uh, V-neck jumper. However, to give you some context, it's obviously heavily shrunk. This is a medium, unless it's a ladies medium, right? But again, there's a couple of holes in the back. Uh, I really would like to salvage this one if possible. It must be a women's one. Do you know, it must be a women's one. We'll have to do some more research there. I'm gonna put it in the, you know, there's a little hole there. Again, this is the stuff we have to expect. It's nice though, I'm gonna see what we can do with that one. I'm gonna go keep that one. Uh, we have a, this looks a bit like just like a kid's champion hoodie. Um, death pile for the minute. Uh, we have a, this is quite unique, quite nice. This is stuff I always look out for. Something I like, big, bold, bright, really kind of a light blue, sky blue, champion. Just a standard kind of a jumper. Uh, nice hit on the front as well. Um, size medium. Yeah, that'll do super, super well. If I, set, you know, if I, if I price these right, you know, some of these are like just quick, easy 10 pound sellers and you can get your money back. We have another Burgers Co. I can't. Nice pink coat. Back looks good. Front looks good. Is it a reversible one? Okay, I think it's reversible as well. 
So you've got to see the the outside one's more like a windbreaker, and then you can do the inside one, which is then more of a fleece. Well, last two items, guys. We need a promise. We have a. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We have a Gucci. Gucci. Uh, like beige shirt. However, look at look at the amount of like tags. There, there are absolutely tons of tags in here. Um, size fifteen and a half. Is it legit? Is it legit? We don't know. Stitching looks good. Need to do some more research. Button looks good. Let's see. Let me quickly just check the wash care label. See what see what he's saying. Looking promising. Made in Italy. Hundred percent cotton. Um, if you can just tell sometimes by feeling, I'm not, I'm not a clothing expert, but the feel of it feels good, right? Let me see what I can do with those. I can't, how many tags has this thing had on it? <laughs> Is it tagged like that for a reason? Because it's like, it's all falling apart, maybe. Gucci shirt. Last one. And we are nearly there. We have a Nike athlete department. Just nice, like a light red hooded, probably like a you know nice clean tick on it, and that's it. That completes the haul. Wow! So here is the keep pile, and here is the donate pile. So we can see there isn't much we're donating. Obviously, there's going to be some cleaning here which we need to do. There might be one or two items which does filter back into. I say the death pile, the donate pile. Um, wow! What what a haul! First step cleaning has been done. Overall, most of the marks have come out. These almost look new again now, which is awesome. Um, the only one that hasn't come out so far is these pink chinos. You can still probably see the marks on here. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with these. Uh, everything else has come out quite well so far. So here's the photography area. Um, obviously the more you look, the more you find. So what I'm doing is just wherever there is a potential rip or tear, so in this lovely Gant jacket, the Manhattan double jacket, um, you can see there's a slight tear there. So whenever I'm gonna take a photo, literally just a point to it, take a photo to make sure it's clearly marked. But you know what? There's still, you know, this is still gonna be well used and it has plenty of life left in it. So yeah, we carry on going. So this is the, was it Mochino? Mochino jeans jacket, made in Italy jacket, really, really nice. However, one thing I'm noticing is just be really careful of the sizing. This is apparently is the UK 40, I'm not too sure what that equates to, but you can quite clearly see it's been shrunk, like the length, the width looks fine, it's the length. If I spin it round to the back, you can, I uh, probably can't see too well there because you can see the front, but look, that's the, the bottom. So it's kind of there. That doesn't look long enough to me. I'm gonna quickly see if we can, let's see, it's 22 inches. That's not gonna be long enough. Hmm. So I've just tried this on. I'm a small, small medium, and this apparently is a 40, but it's really, like, the back is way too short. I cannot be selling it as that is. So unfortunately, it's probably have to go into the donate pile. Unless I've made a massive mistake, but I'm just gonna go in my gut. It doesn't feel right. The sizing doesn't feel right. So yeah, just be mindful of that when you are picking out these wholesale orders. It's also worth highlighting that you get a number of items like this, which are, you know, there's nothing wrong with them at all. Uh, just needs a bit of a wash, maybe a couple of stains in it. we we'll started to do some uh, kind of cellophane packing here. Again, love the NBA uh, hoodie with a nice spill out on the back. Again, nothing wrong with that. Uh, Levi's, again, really good condition. So you get some good condition items here as well that, that literally just need a bit of a clean. And a few others just got some faults, like there's a slight tear in the coat. There's a faulty zip on the uh, Burgess hoodie. Uh, a slight rip in the Timberland coat. Uh, again, a very small hole in the Columbia Co. Uh, the North Face jacket so far. Again, this is good, just need a bit of a clean. So again, there's a wide variety of kind of conditions. And here we have all the items that have been cleaned, photographed, listed, and then polyphane in polyphane bags. Um, yeah, already got 24 items which have been kept and listed for sale. Hey guys, what's going on? So we're about a week later now, and I thought I'd do a bit of a check-in, a bit of a run in total, and show you guys some of the figures from that Boom Wholesale order and what we've done so far. So, uh, a few bits and pieces. 
So the whole bundle, I've looked over the invoice, cost me £83.50. That includes delivery. So I mentioned £75, but obviously we've got a delivery on top. So £83.50 is what we pay for the whole bundle. From that bundle, we kept 24 items that I decided to sell. The other kind of 15 or so items are being donated back to charity, just simply because I don't have the time. And I don't think that, I think they're really low, really low value items. So it just isn't worth my time. So we've got 24 items that need to be listed or have been listed, sorry, of which four have already been sold. Um, give me a grand total for the four items alone of 57 pounds. So we're doing pretty well. We're doing, you know, only about 20 pounds shy now of, of what I bought the whole bundle for. And we have 20 items currently listed, two of which are auctioned. One is a Gucci shirt and, and the other one was the NFL starter jacket simply because they have so much damage, but the brand is, the brand and the item is quite nice. So um, I've listed them 99p auctions. So I've just kept them at one pound. Uh, all the others have been listed by it now for reasonable prices. It's price to sell. Um, 20 items have been listed for 309 pounds. So that gives us a running total of approximately 366 pounds. So bearing in mind offers and potential auctions, what they go up to, I think we're gonna be in the region of selling between 300 to 400 pounds, which is quite good. And probably is what advertised as advertised in their um, website. So that, you know, on average the 75 pound bag makes between 350 to 550 on eBay, which is actually in my experience true, which is great. Um, I wanted to give you again some just some pros and cons from my experience of doing this. The pros definitely is no sourcing time. Just go to the website, order, gets delivered to you. If you haven't got to go around the car boots, wake up early, go around charity shops hoping to find something. You just get tons of stock, which is great. Um, you can bag an absolute bargain. You could pull, you know, a Montclair coat and, you know, you could bag one or two items, which would just basically instantly return you the whole, the, kind of the whole investment. You know, you could do it. I'm not saying you will, but you could do. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that, I, I think that's good, right? And it, it will help, um, as I say, just getting volume of stock. Now cons, I've got a few cons in here. Um, one, a lot will get donated. As you can see, I've got 15 to 20 items which I need to donate back to charity. Um, there was more kids item than I expected. I think they estimate five to 10%. I think there was more than that. I think there was more kind of about 15 to 20% of kids items. Um, what I found as well initially, it was hard to find the fault. Like it's, it. I had to take like, four or five minutes on each each item going through each one quite you know in depth to try and find where the fault might be and some of them didn't have any faults and some of them it, they did have faults there were more faults than what was probably initially shown on the video so it, on that initial clip i would try and add some like um uh, some text or some photos to show you guys because i said we went for it so quickly but there was more faults than probably what was you know what was showing in the video but as expected as i mentioned um it was difficult to gauge the bike now pricing because of some of the faults and some of the defects because when i get you know a burgers coat i know what to price it at but if i get a burgers coat with a faulty zip it's more difficult so it took me more time i just took like 25 percent off what i would normally list it for i don't know if that's right or wrong i haven't really worked it out yet but yeah more difficult to gauge your bike now bike now price some of them just say went onto auction because i just had no idea on price um i think there is going to be more returns with this style of reselling um as you can imagine things that have slight defects clothing generally has a higher return rate just people don't like the size and etc so potentially more more returns uh, on top of that sizing isn't necessarily true because these are pre-owned garments some of defects some of them have been shrunk in a wash. Um, and you know the, the, the labels that may say medium and now potentially a small. So I'm, I'm making sure I measure everything. Um, the sizing on these, uh, yeah, some of them are fine. Most of them, actually most of them are fine, but there's definitely a few um, which the sizing isn't true. So I've just, you know, try to again, just label that as clearly as I can in the descriptions. Um, there's also a mixture of items, kids, men's, women's, Personally, for me, I don't like selling women's items, um, women's clothing. It's just, it's just not my cup of tea, and there's nothing wrong with it. I'll leave that to everyone else. Um, you know, you've got to sell what you enjoy, um, and I don't really like listing and selling women's items. 
uh, personally. I'd rather stick to the men's the men's clothing. So that was kind of the, the big takeaway from me when I was listing the photographing, listing on eBay. I found out more of a chore with the women's items compared to the men's items. So yeah, that was that was it for me. And finally, out of season items. What I mean by that is there was a lot of coats there, which showed great. Um, however, it's probably not the right time. You're coming into May now. It probably isn't the right time to be listing and selling those. You know, it's not going to command as high of a, as high as, as a price. Of course, you know we can sell it. We can mark it up at you know the higher rate and just wait till you know autumn and, and winter kicks in. Um, however, that might be you know hanging on to items a bit longer than what I want to personally. So there's quite a few. I wouldn't say cons is probably not the right word. Considerations is probably the right word there. But overall, I am very pleased and impressed with this wholesale order. Um, there was a bit more work to it, um, a bit different, but I think it's definitely like another string to your bow. And if you're reselling full time, um, which I don't, but if you do resell, you know, full time, and you need, you know, you want to do Amazon, uh, RA, you want to do, you know, boot sales, charity shops. Um, I think vintage wholesale could definitely be part of a business, could be could be a part of your business. I, if I was to do this full time, I would incorporate this into part of my business because it's just so, the, the, there's no sourcing time. And I think that's the key takeaway. You can literally just get listed and get selling. Um, and, uh, and I think one of the things that Jonathan mentioned in the, his life with George Ross was as soon as you make your money back, as soon as you make £75 back from selling five or six items and you get 75 pound back just reorder another bundle straight away and then you've got all that you know all that inventory still to sell to make pure profit on so yeah overall very happy very impressed definitely some considerations for you guys to take away and consider hopefully this video has been somewhat useful if you do if you have enjoyed it please like share subscribe all that good stuff drop me a, a message down below i read every comment feel free to drop me a dm on instagram as well i'm very active on instagram so yeah thanks for watching i really really appreciate your time and i'll see you guys soon